freaking Zubat. And Goggles is... I don't think killing a level 5 or whatever level that was, level 11, is going to be enough to level up Goggles. Okay. Eon Flute time! Alright. So if you hold B, you, you, do, you do a little burst of speed, or if you just press B, not hold B. Oh, actually, no, if you hold B, yeah, because if I let go of B, you slow down a bit. Okay. So yeah, hold B. You get a little boost of speed there. All right, we're going to heal up real quick before we head over to the Space Center because Goggles did take quite a beating. But all is good, all is good. Okay. So let's head down, or let's head up here and into the Space Center and see what is going down. Uh, probably gotta go to the top floor, or maybe? Must be, oh, you must be pulled in. Mr. Steven Stone told me he was expecting you. This way, please. Professor Cosmo, if I may interrupt you. Ah, uh, Poldu, thanks for coming. And you brought the meteorite shard with you. Well done. I was rather surprised to learn that you knew the Professor. You really do seem to make connections wherever you go. Now then, Professor, could I ask you to explain once more the current plan? Indeed, please, come this way. I imagine that you've heard some of the situation from, Pre from President Stone already. Our current plans involve using the infinite energy within our rocket, combined with the life energy of humans found in keystones. We will start by artificially re replicating the massive energy that is triggered at the time of Mega Evolution. We will fire the energy produced from our rocket into space and create a warp hole. By creating a warp hole in the path of the incoming me meteoroid, we hope to be able to transport it somewhere far away from here. As a matter of fact, this technology already exists and has been incorporated in some of our commonly used devices. I think you know what I mean. Those panels that spin you around about and then out you come warp to another spot? I imagine you've stepped on a few such. An audacious plan, and using such technology you would. May I ask where exactly the asteroid will be warped to? Oh, that was... that was Steven. Oops. <laughs> well, we're not entirely sure, but... We do have a device that links the warp holes. We've named it the Link Cable. I like how they name it the Link Cable. And that was what it... Uh, played the original game. Well, actually... Yeah, it still uses... Yeah. Uh, the first three generations of Pokemon... To trade, you needed a link cable, um, but then with Fire Red and Leaf Green, they came out with the wireless adapter that you would plug on top of a uh, Game Boy Advance or Game Boy SP, and then whenever they switched to DS games, it was wireless uh, without having to add an adapter, which was nice, but I, th I think it's a nice little throwback there. But there's no need to worry. Based on our theory, we can at least guarantee that we will be sending it away from our planet. However, we've realized that we will need more energy than originally anticipated to control the link cable properly. I'm sorry to ask you this, but with one more meteor shard... Nice! So, this is the heart of the famous Space Center everyone talks about. Pretty impressive, huh, Aster? Excuse me, young lady, you just... You can't just let yourself in here. Oh, where's the harm in it? Don't be such a stick in the mud. Right? Ah. Who are you? You're no sightseer. Oh, me? We do seem to be... 
We do seem to keep running into one another. You are a busy boy, Poldu. Who, who are you? What are you doing here? Me? I'm Zinnia. Just your regular old Taurus, nothing more. Dreaming of taking a little trip into space. <laughs> oh, I see. So this is what has come of human technology. And of hope and blood and sweat and tears and... Well, the list gets kind of long and boring, but it contains everything, huh? I know all about it. About just what kind of energy you're using to fuel this rocket thing. The abominable technology humanity first thought up 3,000 years ago. So you're once again planning to claim that this is best for humanity, or best for the whole darn world. It's a snap of your fingers to repeat the sins of the past. Worse, if what I overheard is true, this time you're about to commit an error more abominable than before. Tell me, would you rather we sit here wringing our hands waiting for that meteorite to, meteoroid to strike us? <laughs> What's up with that? You're a pretty simple guy for a former Pokemon League champion. Then I guess I'll hang my hopes on what our current champion will have to say. So how about it, Poldu? What do you think? Do you have some better idea? You bet I do. Oh, really? Well, that's promising. You'll have to tell me so we can set these guys straight. Look, I'm not here to criticize the way you guys are looking at this, but I want to be sure you've thought this through well and good. You know, there are necessary sacrifices, and there are unnecessary sacrifices. What a disappointment. This is the best you could do with all your knowledge and technology? Instead of trying to make something out of nothing, you'd rather repeat the mistakes of the past straight up? No, you're going to add new mistakes on top. That really takes the cake. You guys need some imagination. Oops. But you were in the middle of a conversation or something, right? Sorry about that. I guess I'll just let us we'll just let ourselves out then. Come on, Aster. What? <laughs> Who was that woman? And the way she spoke to us, it's almost as if she came here for some kind of confirmation. And yet, I feel as though I should know her from somewhere. Ah, Professor, forgive me. I believe you were trying to tell us something before that woman interrupted us? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, you see, in order to complete the whirlpool, we'll need another meteorite shard. An extremely pure one. Then, should we head to Granite Cave once again? No. The kind of meteorite shard we need this time can only be found at Meteor Falls. Meteor Falls. I see. Perhaps we will learn something there. I will head to Meteor Falls at once. Follow as soon as you're ready. I feel we might discover even more than a meteorite shard there. Alright. So things are starting to pick up. We're going to be heading over to Meteor Falls. And there's the door. Okay. Wonder what we'll find other than a meteorite shard there. I know we haven't we haven't explored the entirety of Meteorite Falls yet, because uh, you need Surf and Waterfall to do that, and we never went back after we got Waterfall. Uh, Bagon can be found, so if we run into one, I'll probably try and snag it. But let's let's see. Uh, Route 15. Let's look down. Okay. Meteor Falls. There we go. I love that I can just go to a cave or, like, any route with this. It's awesome. So which entrance are we going to land at? Okay, this one. Awesome. Okay, so is Steven sitting, like, right around here? Well, let me go to the bottom first. See over here? No. I don't know which one we, we should go to first. But I'm gonna check out this one first. So where does this bring us? Or is it all connected? There's gotta be something hidden right here. Yep. A, oh, just a great ball. Oh well. Alright, and yeah, it, it was all connected. So we're gonna hit up this waterfall. Uh, 
All right, so what's over here? Nothing over here. There's a cave thing to go, go further in over there, but I don't want to miss anything. What the heck is that? It's apparently something we have already. It's a weird noise. But let's just head on in here. I'm not gonna use your repel. Well, once we get back here, what level? 38. Hmm. Uh, can we find Bagon yet? I don't believe so. There are trainers here. Okay, I I am going to use Super Repels then. Unless I see Bagon pop up at the bottom there, I'm just not gonna bother with it. So where's this? So what is that? Clefairy, neat. I do want to fight everyone, so I can go ahead and do that. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. There's one Pokemon Battle Girl test with a Mian Chao. Um, maybe Goggles isn't best for. Well, actually, if we land a Hurricane, we're golden. If we don't. It's gonna hit with a Jump Kick. So yeah, let's <laughs> let's switch out. Let's go into Tornadus and see see what we can do with Tornadus. Gonna U-turn. Bring it. Did like nothing. So there we go. Air Slash. And I should kill it. Yep, there we go. Me and Xiao down. And Tornado. Uh, goggles is level 62. Okay. Uh, yeah. Let's put Tornadus up front. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and give him a lucky egg. Where is it? There it is. Just to kind of get him up to speed quicker. Okay. But we can find Clefairies in here, which is pretty cool. When I guess that makes sense, it's Meteor Falls. Clefairy is like a space Pokemon, came from the moon or whatever. Altaria. Why do I want... I guess extra sensory? I don't know what else I want to do to... Altaria. Cotton Guard. That's annoying. There's a really loud plane outside. Hopefully you can't hear that. Parish Song, huh? Well, that's fine. Because we're about to leave this battle right now. You perish now, I perish never. Ha! Alright. Defeated Dre. Is it Dreano? Just ladders everywhere. Jeez. How am I supposed to figure out what's the right ladder and what's not? But, either way, we got a double battle here. Old couple John and Jay with a Medicham and Harry Yama. Alright, that's that's fine. We're going to Earthquake with Randy Savage for sure. So Tornadus, does Air Slash hit both? No. Okay, Harry Yama seems like the biggest threat. And I'm actually going to Mega an Earthquake just to kind of ensure the kill here. This thing just could get sketchy. But we'll find out. Earthquake. The Earthquake did the job. Awesome. Didn't even need the Air Slash. And Tornadus is level 51. Okay. So what else? What do we have over here? Actually, I'll put these on. What is that? A Dieno. I want.
I want it, I want it, I want it. I just, what? There we go. It's level 40. We don't have, like, I don't think we have any dragons. So, if you find something neat on the way, I'm definitely gonna try and scoop it up. Uh, let's crunch it. It's already dark type, so crunch shouldn't do a whole lot. Alright, it can live another crunch, and then we will throw a Ultra Ball at it. Perfect. Okay. Uh, where are my Ultra Balls? There we go. Got 31 Ultra Balls. Probably need to stock up before we get into anything too... too crazy. Awesome. Didn't take more than one Ultra Ball. So do you know caught? I'm not gonna name anything from now on, uh, cause like I said, Nuzlocke's over. Um, our team's pretty much gonna remain the same. Do you know the irate Pokemon? They cannot see, so they tackle and bite to learn about their surroundings. Their bodies are covered in wounds. Oh, is that what that? Oh. Is that what that, those, like, red marks are? Wounds? That's gross. Alright. Oh, you're Steven. Okay. Poldu, we have the meteorite shard. I have come to understand many things as I suspected might happen. Allow me to introduce you. This honorable lady you see before you is a descendant of the ancient Draconids. Yes, I am one of the Draconid people. One of those ancient folk tasked with passing down the knowledge of Mega Evolution with the great law of Lord Rayquaza, who is the beginning of all. Since times long gone, Hoenn has repeatedly suffered great disasters. At times, the destruction took the form of a huge meteoroid, which fell upon our land from distant space. At other times, the primal versions of our own super-ancient Pokémon brought us to the brink of destruction. Each time, Lord Rayquaza has saved us from doom. The chosen Law Keeper, standing before a stone that shone with rainbow light, offered up a wish to the Great One and Lord Rayquaza's body was suffused with a brilliant light and transformed. In its transformed state, Rayquaza's power was more devastating than ever before, overcoming even the super-ancient Pokémon with all their primal power. A rainbow-colored stone, an invocation from the Law Keeper, and a Rayquaza unlike ever any ever seen, I see. It does resemble what we know of the process of Mega Evolution. Yes, it does indeed. A person, a Pokémon, a stone of power that bonds the, the bonds that tie them all together. The transformation of the Pokémon that occurs as a result of the phenomenon note was called Mega Evolution by later peoples. So the mechanism for Mega... Oh. So the mechanism for Mega Evolution was discovered as a result of the first meeting between humanity and Rayquaza. Hmm. But I have one last question. That Law Keeper you spoke of. The Law Keeper is the one who has inherited the knowledge and power to summon Lord Rayquaza when disaster imperils this world. The true Law Keeper of the current generation is the one called Zinnia. The disaster that now approaches our planet as it has twice before. Zinnia has been trying for some time to avert it, in her own way. To draw Lord, Ray Lord Rayquaza to our sphere, she joined a certain organization that sought to revive the super ancient Pokémon. She taught them the secrets needed to bring back these threats and summon the great dragon itself. And now, it seems that she travels the land, scoring the world for keystones. So, it was true. As I had suspe suspected, that woman who appeared at the Space Center was one of the Draconids. But I never dreamed she was involved in the attempt revival of the super ancient Pokémon. In full knowledge of the power they held, fully understanding the terrible changes they would wreak upon our world, 
Still, she helped to bring the situation about? Did she give a thought to the many people in Pokemon who risk, whose lives were put at grave risk by her actions? Could she accept the inevitable sacrifice of so many lives in order to protect the planet from the coming meteoroid? Balance must rule this world. History is doomed to repeat itself. While our people have overcome many disasters in the past, it was always through great, great sacrifice. Yet we have continued to struggle to persevere peace for as many years as we can. This is how we have protected this world upon which we now live. People, Pokemon, all nature, and yes, even you. I do not know exactly what you plan to do, but do you believe that you are not sacrificing anything for your own protection? Zinnia will follow her convictions until the very end, even knowing the sacrifices that they will require, even if the sacrificial blade is leveled at her own heart. Is that right? I understand. Thank you for everything. What is this? This vague sense of apprehension, and my intuition has often proven true. I'm going back to Rusboro first. I have to get back to Devon. Alright. Well. I don't know if this is the one I wanted to go to. Yeah, see it's another. Well, this was not, that was not the one I wanted to go to. I wanted to go to the left one. Got a Flygon. Uh, I guess extra sensory to Flygon. Air Slash isn't going to do much. I'm going to miss the Dragon Rush. Flinched! Ha! There we go, Tornadus coming through. And Flygon is down. Okay, there we go. So before we head... Oh, I, I think I see where we are. Before we head back, I want to explore the rest of this place. Uh... Just to make sure I don't leave anything. Is that Clefairy? Well, doesn't matter. Pretty sure that trainer scared it away. Thanks. Thanks, trainer. Okay, so let's go up this ladder. So we went up the far ladder the first time. There's really nothing here? Huh. Alright. I hate that it keeps taking off my dousing machine. Where is it? I scared it away! Damn it. What the fuck was that? Apparently something we have we don't have. This trainer, oh my god! Fuck you, lady. Okay, well that that's that's a goal bad. I know that sound. Okay, so we can go up and around, and we're going this way now. We've got the Aerodactylite. And a Super Repel. Awesome. So how do we get to that other spot? Aha. Where is this? Oh, okay. Okay. So, let's see. And something we already have... 
What is down here? Oh. Oh, okay. A PP. Ooh, that's good. That's a good one. PP Max. Just making sure I don't miss any hidden items. It's gonna take. Oh, didn't take it off. Okay, good. Okay, so let's go up the waterfall in the back here, I guess. The water here looks so nice. So nice. No gold bat, no. Or there's not a waterfall here, it's... Oh. It's not on the rock, it's right behind the rock. A star piece, okay. Anything else? Nope. Gold bats, go away. I don't want you. This, this is the room. You can see it on the bottom there. TMO2 for Dragon Claw. And we get a uh, bag on here. Are we gonna get any, any sort of Dex now. Cause I feel like a Dex Nav uh, appearance of Bagon is the the quickest. Did we do it? We did. Bagon, please. There we go, okay. I hate when they move around, because, like, I'm gonna almost get there. It's gonna move right, like, to the other side of the room. I'm gonna start walking over there. It's gonna move back. So, a level 40 bag on. That's pretty good. I'm gonna catch it. Oh, we almost killed it. Okay. Well, that crunch was perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and throw an Ultra Ball. I forget where we're supposed to be going. Oh, to Devon. That's right. That's where Steven went, anyways. Bag on, please. Bag on, please. Choose another one. Do it. Do it. There we go. He caught a bag on. I remember in the original game just spending ages trying to find a bag on in this room. It's the only place you can find it in the game, just this room. Bag on the rock head Pokemon. Bag on has a dream of one day soaring in the sky. His doomed efforts to fly. In doomed efforts to fly, this Pokemon hurls itself off cliffs. As a result of its dives, its head has grown tough and as hard as tempered steel. That's hilarious. That's pretty funny. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and just use an escape rope because we have now explored this place to its entirety. Okay. Oops, I keep opening my party. Now we just need to do that. Boop, 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 boop. I I can't get enough of this. This is prob this might be my favorite feature of the game. Is this Rustboro? No, that's Petalburg. So Rustboro is right there. Okay. There's lots of dialogue in this. I should have got something to drink. I usually do. But, uh... I did this time. I'm gonna heal up, because we got... Got kind of beat up. We have three Ultra Balls and three Pokeballs on our party. That looks pretty cool looking. That looks pretty cool looking. I'm good at words, guys. I promise. Why am I looking here? I want to look... 
in my party. I want, I want to look at the Bagon and the Dino, or Dino, Dino, whichever one you want to call it. So, Impish Nature, is that is that good? So, I mean, you can make it a physical attacker. <laughs> Which I think uh, Hydragon, or Hydragon, Hydragon can be either one. This one's a Naive Nature with Rock Head text from recoil and naive is who increased physical attack so that's not bad adamant is best oh, wait never mind this this again goes back to like i can barely see the color changes on this um but no it's increased speed lower special defense which isn't isn't terrible but you know it works. And I think, actually, I'm gonna bring bring him with us. I'm gonna give him the lucky egg. So we haven't had a uh, a Dragon Pokemon with us this entire time. Like the entire playthrough, we have not had any dragons. And Bagon, I, I love Shellgon. Shellgon's one of my favorite Pokemon from this generation. Salamence is decent, but Shellgon, I love it. 